Let's move on to problem four. Uh, this is just a quick uh, combining of inductors and capacitors. Uh, this will either finding an equivalent capacitance or inductance uh, will be on your test. Uh, so just remember, these are inductors. They give all your values up here. Okay. And remember, uh, these are going to have the same rules as resistors for combining. So we see, uh, looking at this, uh, we'll kind of work uh, left to right because we're moving that way. Uh, it's up to you which one, whichever ones you do first, but uh, right here, we're going to combine these down. So I'll call this parallel one. Then I'm going to combine these down, call that parallel two. So L parallel one is going to be L of four times L of five over L four plus L five. So it'd be 24. 25 after 6, 24 plus 6, give us 4.8 Henry's. So if we go and redraw that. Six. Um, this will be L parallel one. This is L seven and L eight. And uh, you don't have to worry about commenting about how great my inductors look. Uh, I already know. So here, this will be parallel two. So L parallel two. Be L seven plus. Eight over L seven plus L eight. L seven is seventeen. L eight is eight. And seventeen plus eight. This will give us five point four four. Redrawing that one more time. This is L6. This is L parallel 1, L parallel 2. And I see that these two are now going to be in series. So L series 1, LP1 plus LP2. Which will give us 4.8 plus 5.44. This will give us 10.24 Henry's. Then finally, we'll have L6, L series 1. And we see that these two are in parallel, so we'll just go in L parallel 3, L6 times L series 1, 6 plus L series 1, where 6 was 16, so 16, and then L series 1, we said it's 10 point. Four over sixteen plus ten point two four. So L parallel three gives us six point two four Henry's, and this is our 
L equivalent, which is the same answer as what they got. 